that do or die football? Yeah, that's what it looks like. You know, whenever you play a divisional team for the third time, it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be ugly. All that matters is you come out with a win. What's going through your mind during that, that Sam Hubbard play? That... <laughs> Run faster, Sam. Go. <laughs> Get there. He actually did look pretty fast, surprisingly. You think faster than your 20 miles per hour? I don't know about that one. <laughs> uh, losing Jonah, obviously, don't know right now what the severity is, but if it's not, if he's not able to play against the Bills, potentially three starters, what would you say to those who question if you guys are going to be able to overcome that many injuries on the offense? We have a lot of faith in in those guys. You know, Max stepped up today, Akeem stepped up today, and then Jackson stepped up when he got his got in there. You know, after Jonah got hurt, so we have a lot of faith in those guys. They're going to get their job done. What does uh, Hubbard mean to the defense and the team as a whole? No, he's really one of the leaders of the team, and you, you know, he's recognized as a captain, and so he's kind of what this whole thing is built on: toughness, hard work, leadership. You know, those are the kind of guys we try to bring in here, and you know, it's you know, he's one of my best friends, and he comes up with big plays over and over and over again. He's a great leader, gets his work done, constant positive attitude in the locker room, exactly the kind of guy you want on your team. So you've seen this defense do this over and over again this year. I'm curious when you're watching on the sideline and they're marching down the field, are you expecting them almost at this point they're going to make a play? Yeah, you do, but at the same time, in your own head, you're expecting them not to because you know, you're trying to get yourself ready to go out there and make plays. Uh, so I always expect them to, to make the kind of plays that they do in those big moments, but I'm always ready as well. How so they made a commitment. How stressful is that watching when they're driving? Yeah. Well, it's playoff football. That's what it's all about. You, know, you try to try to keep your cool and you know trust your guys to, to do their jobs. They made a commitment. They weren't going to have you throw anything longer than 18 yards. Uh, and, and, uh, do you think they? I mean, usually they pop a blitz or something, but it seemed like they just stayed pretty constant. I mean, is that? They mix the they mix the blitz in here or there. You know, you gotta give them credit. They're really good on defense. You know, they got they understand their scheme, they mix up their coverages, they mix up their blitzes, they're good on good up front. Um, it's really good defense, one of the best in the league. Did they change anything in the second half? Did they do anything they just mix they just mix it up, mix up their coverages, mix up their pressures, mix up their fronts, they make it tough on you. On on the Hubbard play, I mean, what about the play by Pratt and Wills? Pratt sort of stood Huntley up and, and Wilson stripped it. Like, that's a tough play, dude. Yeah, so I, I haven't even seen the whole play yet. I just saw Sam running down the field, but <laughs> I'm sure. I'm obviously, you know, guys stepped up and made plays when, when their number was called and got us the win. Have you ever tried to go up top on a QB sneak before, or is that just like you're not doing um, I don't, I have not, no. <laughs> I don't plan on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe, it's... Obviously hard to win in the playoffs, you know that. Uh, just how satisfying is it to be able to pull out another win and keep this thing rolling? Yeah, it's, it's very satisfying, especially when you play a team like that that is so good at what they do. Uh, you know, to come out with a win, being a divisional team for for the second time in two weeks is, is always tough, especially when it's those guys on the other side. So big win for us. Did you ever think about that, that, that your first game against Baltimore? I mean, how much have you well, you throughout the week of, of practice, you recall all the stuff that they've done to you over the years, in, in all the games that you've played them, because you know they can throw it out at any moment. Uh, so you just call upon all those reps. I mean, this is the first time in franchise history of one playoff games in back to back seasons. What does that say about maybe the franchise is that potentially? Where do you think it might be? That? We're in a great spot. We got you know great leaders in the locker room. Zach puts us in, all in, in the right mindset and in great positions to, to go and succeed. And we have the utmost faith in each other to go and make plays to win the game. How do you balance maybe not having the offensive performance you guys hope for as a team, but still winning and advancing to the divisional round, knowing how hard that is to do? Yeah, I mean, really, we had three possessions in the first half, and we scored on two of them, and then we come out of a out of halftime and score a touchdown on, on our first possession in the second half. And then after that, I think we got three possessions and, and didn't come out with any points. So we got we got to finish the game better. But, uh, you know, that first half was really good, and the, the first drive of the second half is really good. How big was uh, Jamar today? I felt like when the offense was <coughs> coming up with two catches a drive. Yeah, I mean, Jamar's a great player. 
one of the best, and so I'm always going to try to find him. Is there something about this team, Joe, that doesn't panic when things are kind of falling apart? That, at the end of the first half, there were plenty of opportunities to go, woe is us, but it seemed like you guys collected yourself uh, in time and kind of turned the tide right after halftime. Yeah, there's never any panic. You know, we've been in these spots before, we've been in these big moments. Understand that we have guys that are going to go make plays in, in moments like that. And so that gives us a lot of faith to just stay within ourselves, do our jobs, and come out with W's. So, you're, go ahead. so when you're coming out of halftime, you're walking with Jackson, obviously, coming in and playing more. Do you have a message for him at some point once he came in, or you just to... No, Jackson. Jackson's played a lot of football for us. We have a lot of faith in Jackson. He works hard, gets his job done. So we're going we're gonna to count on him a lot. Uh, he's going to have to step up, and he did today. The touchdown to Jamai was kind of a classic uh, slot, you know, kind of... I don't know, was he running in the slot? Was he inside? Were you, were you using him inside in that drive? Yeah, he just found a found his own and you know found a little space for me to to put it on him, and then he made made somebody miss and got a touchdown. So that's what he does. You said talk about Zach getting you know, the right mindset, you know, kind of for games like this, or something he said maybe last night or, or leading up to the game that maybe resonated. You think with the rest of the team? You know, Zach, he always knows what to say. He he's not a huge you know, rah rah speech kind of guy, but he always know the finds those couple sentences that are just right for the right moment and resonate with everybody and, and hit home. And so that's that's what he's really good at. What was that this week? Tough to recall right after right 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 now. You said last week you like the hard path in the playoffs. How exciting is it going to Buffalo? It's really a good team next week. Yeah, exciting exciting moment. Um, big win this week. So we're gonna enjoy that this one tonight first, and then and move on to them tomorrow, but really good team, great quarterback, great defense. It'll be a challenge. Is there any kind of added emotional element seeing them after you know everything that happened almost two weeks ago? Yeah, I think now that everyone has the news that he's doing a lot better and he's back with the team, you know, it makes us all feel a lot better about playing football. I think you told. I think you said. Something, I think you told NBC this is a place you want to be. Was tonight like one of the reasons why? I mean, the atmosphere, the crowd. The you know, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I love the fans here. It's, uh, you know, I love being from Ohio and, and playing for this team and, and representing the state the, the way that I do. And you know, our fans do, do a great job every single week of you know, giving us energy and, and putting us in, in good position to make it hard on, on opposing teams when they come in here. I know it's not business as usual, but last year was a pretty big deal with this team winning its first playoff game in three decades. Does it feel a little different uh, this time around now that you guys made a Super Bowl run uh, last year? More comfortable? Does it feel any different? Playoff wins are, are always hard. They're always very satisfactory when you get them. Uh, so we're going to enjoy this one and move on to the next one when the time is right. Thanks, guys.